hey y'all we back with another video episode 77 we back um hold on y'all so we going in with me secret cover page i just wanted to say that before it went away but um hey hello to my new subscribers because y'all it has been some new subscribers so welcome and welcome back to the returning ones how y'all doing um i hope everyone is doing well as y'all can tell by the title of the video mama b wants another set so we're gonna be doing another set for her yes i'm loving this set too she picked this set um i well i chose three pictures or whatever because she said she just wanted something purple because it's for an event for church so I said, okay, but, um, and I looked up three purple sets that she might like, and she chose this one. I'm gonna drop the pick here, and I absolutely love it. Um, I added the charms, and I chose a different glitter purple, um, but yeah, I just, I don't, I think the one I had would have been just, like, close to bluish purple, so I'm glad I chose this, I'm glad I had it, and I didn't forgot that i had two whole like different collection of nail polishes that we have to get into um so this one that i'm gonna show y'all once once it gets time for the nail art i'm gonna show y'all um the brand or whatever this has like a few colors i think i already sh told y'all about this but it was in like videos way way back but um this we haven't tried like this collection or whatever tried to do like any nail sets with this collection so i'm excited for that and then the next one um we got to do a uh, what is it called the it's called oil. like the jelly um the jelly gel polish we gotta go through that i got a lot of that and then um it's this other one that's just um different colors that i didn't have so yeah we gonna have plenty of colors to try i like it so you know how people like to um swatch their colors well my swatching way is i do sets out of it we gonna try sets with um try sets with each gel polish i'm gonna try to do some something with it incorporate it in some kind of way that's what i've been doing that's that's what i like to do so yeah um i mean swatching is cool too but i just like to you know really see how each color would look you know as a set so um yeah i've never told y'all that before but yeah that's my little that's my little secret thing but um yeah at the beginning y'all saw my nails they was looking so uh different i'm not gonna say bad because they still look good i'm talking about the design and stuff but the shaping on my thumb started to just like um start to lose its crisp I could see because I be doing a lot like I don't know well for the new people who don't know I work at Amazon so I be handling a lot of packages be doing a lot so and then I have kids and stuff like that so yeah the crisp it didn't it didn't lost <laughs> it's lost but the two nails that are going um well we lost the pinky and then some other ones are starting to live it's been maybe about like two weeks I would say um and i feel like that's pretty good it's long enough and i'm about ready for them to come off but the thing is i haven't even made the next set which was supposed to be or which is the um pennywise set and i'm still doing that set this was just rushed this order right here or this video was just rushed so um i was like why not just make a video out of it anyway i was about to do that so let's just let's still do that so I'm showing y'all the set that, you know, well, y'all see me doing it. But yeah, this set, y'all, I live for it. It's so cute, especially with the charms. It was to die for. I was, um, I didn't know if I wanted to use purple crystals, though. Like, y'all will see once we, we stop. We take a, a stop at the, the bling shop. <laughs> um, Y'all will see the two purples I'm talking about. It's a really dark purple, and then there's, like, a dark purple and i think there was a light one i can't remember but i chose these ones because like when you turn it in like different light you can see purple so i like that and especially um some of the nails are white well there's a lot of white in this set so i felt like that worked well with this set um but yeah i don't want to talk too much right now i'm gonna be back 
and we're gonna chill by watch this set i mean watch this um application <laughs> sorry y'all oh also i forgot to mention i've been not doing as many videos um recently just because i just need a little break just been pushing out not so much but for me it's been so much um and i just needed like to give my mind a break and i've been getting into sims y'all sims for on a playstation and yeah um i was thinking like what if i did like a playlist of you know just me playing the sims and doing a whole thing on that but i don't know i don't know because my sims is funny they get all the they got kids they got like three kids one of them wants another one and they don't ever want to take care of them like <laughs> like i had to bring in one of the sims mom i had to create a whole new character or whatever and she's the nanny like yeah but i'm not even finna get into that that's a whole yeah but i don't know let me know if anybody plays sims or you know watch any youtube videos about you know not about but you know on sims because i'll be watching videos you know some videos or whatever on youtube and it's this girl her name is zarela i think um but yeah she's really dope and she actually created one of the sims pack and um i bought i bought it or whatever and it's so dope i love it it's like a modern luxury pack or whatever it's so cute um and then she actually played with kiki palmer so she's dope like and her um her sims like her story time or whatever be hilarious y'all hilarious so um i'm gonna drop her at right here so if y'all want to check her out you know you could do so but oh yeah i wanted to show y'all these charms i got in from amazon um i thought they would have been smaller and i'm so upset they're big but we're gonna make it do what it do it's gonna be too big for my set for myself but as y'all can see the little circle there um i have the hoops and i can do it as y'all i don't know if y'all seen the video if you haven't go check that video out of me for the first time um you know doing the piercing of the nail and stuff like that when you gotta drill the hole in and clip in the charm and stuff like that that was the pink halloween set with the wine bottle yeah check that video out so i'm gonna do the same thing with this for um the uh pennywise set and the red coffin there yeah we're gonna work with that too i'm thinking about some red crystals um, i don't know or some green i don't know but this one is gonna be so good so cute i can't wait and it's gonna be for me i'm hyped <laughs> but yeah uh my favorite is definitely definitely the um the knife the chef knife back there and um what is this this dog it escapes my freaking mind i, I it's on the tip of my tongue it's um but the but the <laughs> but an axe it looks like an axe but what a butcher knife i would say but if I'm if I'm wrong, y'all, please somebody correct me in the comments. But yeah, look at all these different ones. Oh, scissors and all of that. They're just big, y'all. But if you have some like 3XL nails, this probably would, you know, work on top. But yeah, hopefully um I can still work with some dangly charms. Like I haven't had any dangly charms and worked at Amazon. So we're gonna see. We're going to see what it do, um, but I don't think I should have a problem. I don't know, because now I'm thinking like, okay, yeah, in the beginning of work, my, we might be good. But towards the end, when I got to really start lifting up the packages, because in the beginning, where it's like on a belt. Well, I'm not like picking up any packages. I'm working on a belt. <laughs> I'm working on a belt and or I'm like diverting it. So that means I'm splitting them up on the belt between like two letters hope y'all can understand what i'm saying but yeah but towards the end everybody gotta be picking up packages so when it comes time for that sometimes well i try to do it the easiest way you know and it be coming off as you know prissy or girly or whatever but i got nails like we not gonna break these joints so <laughs> we know like what you mean we gonna keep it classy and cute and or whatever and if i need help there's hella hella schmiggas around here okay and they gonna help because <laughs> as a lady as a lady and yeah 
picking up these packages, y'all. I don't know if we are gonna be able to do it with these dangly charms. Cause I'll be wearing gloves too. They do give you like safety gloves. And when I put on the safety gloves, it's as if I like, I forget that I'm wearing nails. Like I can move in them like without really wearing, wearing about it like um, lifting or breaking or anything. So I always wear my nails, I mean my gloves when I'm working, um, especially like doing anything up in there. But what I'm saying is when I have the charm inside the glove, like, is that going to, like, mess with me when I'm picking up the packages? We about to see. So I'm going to let y'all know. Come back with, with uh, reports. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so now that we're done with the acrylic application, we're going right in with the hand file. We're going to be shaping up the sides, the um, all the edges, and the surface, and getting it as crisp as we possibly can. Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to um, also hop right in and say this part, um, but y'all, I've been reading the book It, <laughs> you know, by, what's his name, St Stephen, Stephen? king or whatever the um you know where the movie is based off of yo that song is it's you know how they be like books is different from movies like they they have more um than what the movies are showing or whatever it's so true like this draw is crazy like it's really good like it's some parts that get you mad some parts that make you want to cry like it's so crazy like I don't even know but after i get done reading because i've been doing some research um just because i always like the movie it i like movies that terrify me like you know especially when you were a kid or something you know when you was a kid or whatever just that nostalgic feeling i like um i like watching movies like that and then like just doing research on it for one that also helps you to not be so scared and two we i know it's fiction like but still you know you not finna you not finna well actually y'all i'm not reading it i'm listening to an audio but i ain't finna listen to this audio up in the shower hey <laughs> no you got me chopped <laughs> Because if you've seen the movie, you know what happened in that one scene when homegirl was in the shower, or when Bob was in the shower. No, we not finna do that. See you in your dreams. Have some clown pop his head through the drain. It's like, nah, we know that's not finna happen, but still, like, ugh, bro. <sighs> we don't got time for that. But, um, yeah, y'all, this joint is so good. After I get done listening to it, um, I want to watch the movies again. I don't really remember the second one all that much just because I know I didn't really like it because it just, like, it wasn't as good as the first one, like, the acting and all of that. But um, I just, I still, I love how they, like, did his makeup in the second one and stuff like that. Pennywise, yo, he was good, like, scary. The makeup was awesome. Um... What I was trying to say was, oh yeah, so me doing just research on Pennywise or whatever, I'm sure this is common sense, but he's like stronger than Freddy Krueger. Like he's almost like God level. Like, um, so basically he's like 
not from this world or whatever he's from a different galaxy there's another being um kind of like him it's the turtle but he's like the good one that be helping people out who the turtle feels is like pure like good um so that's why i mean if you watch the movie you know if they like ever looked at a turtle or said anything about a turtle you know that's the thing that could fight um up against pennywise but so with that to say pennywise he got tired of where he was at in that galaxy and left and came to earth billions of years ago before he, humans um was there and he just waited i guess for the arrivals of humans and was you know um his goal is just to be feeding off of fear and nightmares um so yeah and he has powers of illusions and he can shape shift so when i say illusions like he can make as you've seen in the movie the whole town like um just not care about reality just ignore it completely like you know just he can me make you think whatever like so you know how in the town didn't nobody really care about what was going on and stuff like that it was because of it like if you ever left if they and if anyone left ever left the town they would like kind of forget like everything that happened and stuff like that but once you came back you just get this feeling and then all the memories came back and all of that it's crazy yo it's it's like it's really wild so just think about like if they ever had a movie with him fighting you know freddy krueger that shit would be crazy because you know it can turn into whatever he can turn into whatever you fear like you know so what if he turned up as freddy we need somebody that who's like a really good ass fucking director though like who's not going to play no games we need this gonna be two hours long like that drone would be lit but um yeah yo that shit is wild so his physical form is like this glowy type object that floats or whatever so so yeah oh um but if you ever do like look at it and um like you'll see the the glowy ball or whatever but that's him like basically stunning you like i forgot what the right word was or whatever but um you're like petrified like you're stunned there you can't move y'all know what i'm talking about so and that's how he gets you like once he gets you like that he attacks you but what i can't get over yo is when he bit off of georgie's arm george his name is george but i call him georgie because he's a cute little boy or whatever with the yellow jacket and the red boots he bit that little boy's arm off not even with the when the boy died but like right there i can't imagine just anybody hurting children like that that really be upsetting me y'all so in the book um they was just telling this little um story or whatever about how this this all right so i'm like <laughs> sorry y'all it's just a little crazy so you hopefully you picked up on like when people be mad in that town like just angry like real crazy like it's because of it like it's just something i don't know how but he does it to you like so it's this family or whatever it's this he's not really the kid's father but it's he's the stepfather or whatever like he was just beating he was just like like i'm talking about beating the hell out of his kids one of them was four years old and just one day he snapped on this little boy just because he told him not to go up this ladder one time or whatever and the little boy did it again and so he grabbed his hammer and he just went at the little boy kept going kept going until he was dead and then you know they they're like put in the scene as if like they're in court and you know the man's on trial or whatever and they're asking him you know what did the little boy say before he lost conscience y'all when i heard this i'm not gonna lie i cried like i cannot take shit like this i'm trying to tell y'all i can't i can't do it like because i put my my children i don't know why but i just think of my kids i put them in that in that scenario like i, I would never be around nobody who did stuff like that like i would never y'all i would go ballistic like i'm seeing black you can i'm the hook you're not controlling me like everybody's is gone you're you're gone so like just the thought of that like just hearing that like even if you're not my child i will not allow if, if i'm around i don't care like no that's not happening i don't know like that just it broke me like i was so let me even tell you what he said he said 
He said the little boy was, you know, crying out. He said, Daddy, stop, please. I'm sorry. I love you. Dad right there just thinking like he's pleading out. He's four years old. He don't understand nothing that's going on. He don't understand life. Like, why why are you hitting him like this? Like, <laughs> and then like, so they said, they asked him, they said, and did you stop? He said, eventually so. Oh my God, I lost it. I said, I don't know how I'm here. I'm going to finish the rest of this book. I said, because I don't know. This joint right here, like, I was not laughing, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, like, I had to step like my boyfriend don't even know like i went to the bathroom and i just like i had to let it out because that kept playing over and over in my head like i just couldn't and y'all it's not even real but to think y'all stuff like that happens out there in the world and it's worse like worse things actually be happening we just don't really know all of it or hear about it and not all the time is there justice done being you know about it which is like it's something you would just think, oh, God, like, please, if anything, just help these kids out in the world. But y'all, yeah, I don't know. So if anybody who is just like who can't take stuff like that, I would not suggest y'all read it. But I wasn't even expecting anything like that. But I am I, I got through it. I can I am continuing to read it. But yeah, y'all, like I said, it is fiction. It's fake. So I had to keep telling myself it's fake, it's fake. But I'm like, no, 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 it's not. It actually happens in the world. We just don't know. <laughs> they don't tell us everything. Uh, oh my gosh. <sighs> All right, I'm done. I'm gonna done my little rambling. We didn't got done with the um, violin. Now we went into the drilling using the smooth bit to make everything smooth to get out all the bumps and stuff like that. Now we are going in with base coat be doing, before doing nail art and um, anything else. So, yeah. Let's all, let's all take a minute. <laughs> take a minute for that little boy, okay? And then take a minute to just, because, yeah. Woo, woo, saw. Okay, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all the second coat because this color is so freaking cute. This video does not do it any justice, like, if only y'all could see it in person. But yes, on to the next nail, and I'll be right back. Purchase your tracks today. Just your tracks today.
tracks today. So I did want to quickly hop in here and say um, I did cure each color in between for 60 seconds and um, all of the second coats I am showing, I'm not, whew, I'm not showing y'all, uh, <laughs> it won't be shown on, on camera, sorry. Um, I do want to say that for all of my new subscribers, I do do a second coat for all of the polish, I just do not show it on camera. Just your tracks today. Just your tracks today. Just your tracks today.
Okay, y'all, so now I'm putting on one of these chromes that I got from Amazon. I forgot what the brand name was, um, but you can find all kinds of powders on Amazon. Um, also, I wanted to say, if y'all see or hear anything in the background, I'm at work <laughs> and I'm editing still. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say that. And, yeah, also with this um i'm able to do this because after i cured um you know the white or whatever it's still tacky so i didn't go in with no top coat i'm just going in with this powder and then we're going to top coat that's what's going to protect it but on the other nail when i did this there was still some parts it wasn't there was like some parts of it that wasn't tacky so i just went in with one layer of um base base gel or whatever base coat and i cured that for 90 seconds and then that was exactly what i needed for it to be tacky and then i just resumed you know what i did on the other nail to this nail if that makes sense <laughs> Hey y'all, step into my bling shop. Blingy bling bling. Okay, ka-ching, ka-ching. <laughs> it's like, nah, let me stop. But um, yeah, we finna grab, what, two of these little cute Johns. So cute, I got from Sheen, a wild busy yak. Just your tracks today.
purchase your tracks today. Okay, y'all, so this is the top coat we're putting on, and this is the last step. So I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who viewed this the whole way through, and look at that set. That John looks so cute, so beautiful, very elegant, very princess vibes. Yes, all for Mama V. She's so spoiled. Ugh, like, girl. But yeah, <laughs> anything for my mama. Um... I loved her lots and yeah so if you haven't subscribed subscribe please that would be um that'd be so nice but anyway <laughs> i would really appreciate it if you did also leave your thoughts in the comments below um don't forget to like and make sure you are notified for the next video because we are doing Pennywise, y'all. This is going to be so cute. It's going to be coffin. I did once like square, but I don't have any more square. And I'm not ordering none right now. So, yeah, it's time. This is what? The time of the coffins. <laughs> coffin, right? For Halloween. Wouldn't that be? Yeah, it makes sense. But anyway, um, yeah. Follow my socials at killernails underscore it's the same facebook tiktok all of that um you know so that way you can catch the work before i upload it to youtube um yeah so without further ado i'm gonna stop my rambling and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video y'all stay safe and yeah bye